Hey guys, so I wanted to start my own little series called Experiment With Me where I literally just experiment with my makeup instead of doing a get ready with me where I'm just putting on my makeup that I'm going to be wearing that day because a lot of the time that's just the same. So I'm going to call it Experiment With Me where I literally can go extremely creative like turn myself into a robot because I love Halloween and I missed out on it so I'm going to do crazy makeup all year round, you know, sporadically, or I'm going to do normal things like winged eyeliner and or natural faces, just normal things, but I'm going to call the series Experiment With Me because it's more of an experiment rather than a planned out. This is what I'm going to wear today. So, um, yeah, today's was just like a fall, weird, dark reddish color. I saw this picture on a website for a magazine called Dark Beauty. I think it's a it's a dark fashion magazine and I'm really into dark fashion but I saw the picture and I was like that's perfect for fall so I was gonna try my own little mix of it and um yeah so tell me any ideas you have like give me like random color mixtures and I'll try to think of something to do with them or something but um yeah so Thumbs up if this was a good idea, and uh, I'll start putting on the makeup. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just wipe off my face with some Pond's Wet Cleansing Towelettes. Yeah. I'm going to use two primers today. I'm gonna try this one again. I thought it had broken out, broken out my skin, but it just works so well. And at the same time I started using this, I tried a bunch of different things, so that probably shocked my skin into a breakout. So I'm gonna try this again. It's the number seven Beautifully Matte, and it actually really works if you have oily skin, so I would really recommend it. But um, it might be something that breaks out my skin, so I might not be able to use it, but we'll try. And it kind of helps with um, minimizing pores. So if you've got like big pores, it helps with that too. And the next primer I'm using is just a green primer. It's a primer I got off eBay. I think it's um, Korean Cosmetics. It just says Lovely Me X Angel Skin Makeup Base. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all it's supposed to do. I just know it's green. Whoa, it just squirted everywhere. It's green, so it kind of helps cancel out the redness in my skin, which would normally be clashing with the yellow tones in my hair because I'm too lazy to tone my hair properly. So I use this green primer and so you can already kind of tell it's like a different color. Well, I don't know if you can on the camera, but in my mirror, I can see it. So, yeah. I hope you guys can see me good. Um, I don't have a camera that has a flip screen, so I have to like hold up a mirror behind it to make sure I'm filming all the time. And yeah, so sometimes I don't know if I'm like way out of frame, but someday I will have a better camera and it will have a flip screen and it will be amazing. Okay, I think I'm going to use this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous stuff. Um, it was new. I don't know if it's still new, but... Um, I'm running out of my other foundation, so we'll just go with this one. This will work. It might be the wrong color right now, but I don't really care because it's an experiment. That's what today's makeup is today. It's an experiment. And I'm using this fake, I think it's fake, I'm not sure, Real Techniques brush because it's really dense and I like it for buffing in foundation. I feel like I'm all professional when I say things like that, buffing in my foundation. <laughs> I'm 
Look how fast that went. Boom. Blended. It's kind of pale. Oh well. I like being pale. Now I look like I'm dead. So looks like we're getting somewhere. Uh, which concealer should I use today? Ew, I got black stuff on this from Halloween. Gross. Okay, looks like I'm going to use my NYC liquid concealer. You can't read that. Ow! <laughs> you can't read that because... Uh, oh, wait, you can read it on that side. Liquid concealer. I don't know why I need to show you. You could probably figure out what it is without me showing it to you. But I gotta be like a beauty guru and like hold it up to the camera for five seconds. It's okay. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna put... I have this weird line. I don't have dark circles, but I have like a dark line and it looks funny and I have no idea how to get rid of it and then like dark spot right here it's really weird and then I'm just gonna use it to highlight underneath my eyebrows and then I put a little bit right there and a little in my butt chin because I have a butt chin okay brush or finger Let's try brush. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. There we go. Am I good? Nope. You can't read the label anymore because it's scratched off, but it's just the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in transparent. Ooh, my brush is all messed up. Okay, we're still filming. We're good. Whoops. Let's use some bronzer. No, contour. I don't really bronze. I should. Wow, I look so pale right now. My face does not match my neck. I didn't put enough foundation on my neck. I don't care at the moment, though. I really... I really don't. I can't be bothered. This is just some cheap NYC bronzer and I'm just using it to contour and bronze up my face a little bit. I don't think I like doing my hair like this. It makes me feel too girly and fluffy. I feel like a poodle or something. Mm. And I think my side cut is the longest I've ever kept a hairstyle. So obviously it's doing something right for me. Okay. Um... I want to wear blush, but I don't really have a good fall blush. I forgot to do my jaw. You can see my double chin. Sharpen this. Oh, awful. Oh, it came out. Okay. We're good. I use this, um... NYC Cold Brow Slash Eyeliner Pencil. It's like 97 cents or something at Walmart, but it works really good. I'm using the color taupe, so if you're blonde or maybe a light redhead, this, this is like a really good color for your eyebrows. Yeah. Oh no! Okay. I'll start in the middle.
Why is my other eyebrow so wonky? You know how your eyebrows are supposed to go up? You're supposed to make them go up? Well, it's like my hairs are so stubborn, they don't go anywhere. And I don't have a brow gel or anything. I have a wax thing from e.l.f., but it doesn't really control my eyebrows. But this one, they all just shoot down, and it's annoying. Chapstick. Look what I did to this chapstick. Can you see that? I dropped it, and I scraped off where it touched the floor, and then I started using it, like, between my lips. So now it's shaped funny, but it works out. Because now I can get both lips at the same time. And it's fun. There was this picture I saw on this website for a dark fashion um, magazine and this girl had the most amazing makeup on ever and I'm gonna try to replicate it if I could open this. This is a uh, Coastal Sense palette. It's a 252 ultimate palette of eyeshadows that my brother got me for my last birthday, I think. I want to take like if I can get it out, like a peachy, maybe this color, like a peachy red, pinkish red, peachy thing going on. She had it like all over and it looked really cool. So I'm gonna try something. This might come out awful, but this is just an experiment video. So we'll see what, whoa, that's really dark. Look at that, okay. I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll start right here. Whoa. I like it. It looks cool. That is a nice color. Does anybody like that color? I like this color. Woo. Woo. Okay. Just putting it in my crease for now. And then I'm going to figure out. I'm going to figure out where I want to blend it to underneath my eyes. Where is the brush I'm looking for? This one, this is just like a thin angled brush. I'm gonna stick some of it underneath on my lash line. I'm just blending it a little bit out. I'm gonna stab myself in the eye. I know it. Now, Blend, swirly, swirly, blendy, blend, up, up, up. I don't want it too dark yet, so. Blendy, blendy, blend. Blend. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna put, hmm. I'm gonna put a darker color in the crease first. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to use this same flat angled brush and maybe this color right there. What is going on? Oh, okay. Dab, dab and put just a little bit. I'm scared that it's going to be too dark. It'll be fine. Okay, just, just rub it in there. I'm just putting it on this outer part right here and I'm gonna blend it out with the fluffy brush. So, that's probably enough. I'm gonna take this brush. There we go. More, I need more. I want more. I hope you guys can see. Maybe I should zoom in. I'll zoom in in a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alrighty. New battery and you're zoomed in. So hopefully I don't get out of frame. Okay, what I was doing was putting a darker color in my crease. I really like these colors. I wish they looked better on me. But, um... Blend, blend. I'm 
There we go. That looks cool. But now I don't know what color I need to put on the actual lid part. I was going to leave it blank, but now I don't really like it. Maybe I'll do a bronzy color. Yes. No. This one. I want to do this one. It's like a champagne bronze color. Well, I forgot. You're zoomed in. Hope you can see that. This color right here. I'm just going to take that same. Actually, no. I'm going to use this. It's like a flat top. Fluffy brush, dab it in there. Why do I keep doing a bunch of different accents? <laughs> okay. I think I like it, except it still looks too naked. So I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix that champagne color with Maybe this color right here. It's more of a orange, shimmery orange. So let me put some of this on the other eye. And then I'm just gonna, this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go dab, 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 dab. Maybe a little more, a little swirl. Not enough, okay, more orangey. It's not, okay, this is just a bad color, Never mind. Let's try this orange color that's right next to it. That's a little better. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I like it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, Rimmel Scandalize nude eyeliner and line my waterline. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Elf Cream liner and I'm going to do a winged liner. I think that would fit. I'm gonna try to make it really thin so it's not overpowering. So. Just a small little wing. I'm only going to go to the middle of my eye. I like that. Okay, let me do the other side. That was noisy. Okay, eyeliner's done. Hopefully you guys can see that really well. Now I'm going to mascara. And I like to mix this Rimmel Lash Accelerator with Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And then a little bit on the lower lash line just to cover them so that you can see them. And Go over my top lashes with the Maybelline Rocket. This brush is so chubby. I love it. Okay, so now I have my eyes done. Now I'm going to do lipstick. Let me make sure the camera is in the right spot. I can't, whoa, I can't even tell. But you guys can see me, so. This will work. Gotta find my lipstick. So I'm thinking like a blackish um, wine color. Okay, I've got this Revlon lipstick in number 10, Why Not? I don't know if my camera's focusing or not, but it's a dark maroon wine color. 
and I'm gonna mix a little bit of this LA Girl black lipstick. It's called Dreamer. I don't know if you can read that, but it's just a black lipstick. And it smells like candy, but a weird candy, like one of those nasty candies that you get in one of those weird stores. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Ew, my lips are all chapped. I don't know, it's already kind of fun, so... Oh well. Can't hurt. Okay. Now that I have successfully made myself look extremely weird, I'm done, I think. I don't know, I really like it. I think it looks nifty. I think I'll zoom in in a little bit so you guys can see up close. Now I'm holding the camera up close to my face so you guys can see up close. But uh, I hope there's no shadow, but this is what the I looks like and my lips so I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it wasn't too long and weird I don't normally do my videos like this but I'm gonna try um, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later bye bye